Hello everyone and welcome back to the Perfect Genetics Challenge and today is the day guys, today is the day that I get my hands on Get to Work. I know that everybody and their, and their granny has Get to Work currently but I did wait, I did wait until it's going to be officially released and I get to play it from midnight so I came home if you're interested. I went to sleep, <laughs> just so, oh my goodness, distracted much, just so that I could be up all night because I've not got work tomorrow, so I'm very, very, very happy. Anyway, I'm excited to play the Perfect Genetics Challenge, but we do have a mission. We have a mission from the Sims God to get multiples. Now, Emma was at a party last night, so she will have no way improved her chances of multiples, but is she starting to get nauseous? Now, I do believe we bought Chad a prego book. Okay, I don't think we did. So, I think what we need to do, I am going to buy her a slablet. I don't think it's called a slablet. It's called a slablet in The Sims 4. I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm going to buy her what the frick? A multi-tab. There we go. A multi-tab. And we'll buy the book on there. So, yeah, to get the multiples, as all of you probably know, reading pregnancy books does help. So, we're going to get her to do that. So, let's shop online for books. And I also need to change her formal wear. In fact, in fact, let's go in and do that first. Because knowing me, I will forget. And I can't have her cutting about in her wedding dress <laughs> anymore. So we will do that. We will do that. So I'm excited and I am a little bit hyper to see it the least. So hopefully I won't do your heads in in this LP, this part of this LP. Uh -huh. But it's exciting. It's kind of like Christmas Eve for me. <laughs> it is kind of like Christmas Eve. And I have uploaded a video of oh, I'm gonna change your sleepwear spice it up a little bit for old Chad we spice it up a ooh, ooh la la Emma ooh la la no we won't do that we won't do that she has she has a mother after all we don't want her wandering about like that and her kids to see <laughs> I kind of like this this oh no I don't like that what about this oh it's a bit risky can see her panty line. <laughs> Can't believe I said that was risky and I was willing to put it in that. What about this? This is a sort of nice compromise. Yes, yes, we'll put you in that. Um, Formal wear. Yeah, so I did put a video up about the Let's Play that I will be doing. Um, I'm sure most of you have. I think most of my regulars have checked that out now, so awesome. I'm probably going to upload the first part of it on Friday because I don't want to blindly stumble into it, you know. I, I, I kind of feel as if you'll have seen a lot of it so far, probably, if you watch a few LPs. So I don't really want to be kind of going in, not knowing what I'm doing, and think, oh my god, no. <laughs> Just no. Um, I don't really want to be stumbling into it, so I think I'll take tonight and tomorrow. That's really quite cute. Um, tonight and tomorrow to kind of get familiar with it and then upload a part on Friday. But I do plan on doing like my first impression video. Um, not my first impressions, but like my my initial thoughts and my favourite cast items. So rather than taking you through every single one, I'll just tell you like what my favourite outfits are. I'll put some together so that you can see it and all that good stuff. Um, I really like that dress. It's one of my favourites. Of course, it's custom content as it always tends to be with me. Um, Hair-wise, my darling, what would you like for a night out? What would you like? I know I've used this hair loads. I know I have, but I think that's really nice for a night out. Some of you are probably like, no, we've seen it a trillion billion times. Okay, I'll try something else then. I will, I will. I aim to please, after all. I think we'll go for that. That is cute. I don't know how she's holding that dress up, but, you know, we'll go for that. Right, so I just wanted to change that. So that's her done. So if we go to any parties, she's not going to look like an ass <laughs> by wearing her wedding dress. I actually uh, tried my wedding dress on about two weeks ago, and it is far too big for me, sadly. <laughs> and I say sadly, but I'm pleased that I'd have, I have managed to lose the way I needed to lose but it does mean that my wedding dress doesn't fit me and it's so sad because I love my wedding dress so much but um, maybe I can get it taken in maybe I can get it taken in 
bits cut away and whatnot. Anyway, 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 guys, I am digressing so much. He's probably like, Laura, just do what I do, get on with it. So <laughs> let's find the baby book. I am digressing. But then if you guys have been with me a long time, you know that this is just what happens. This is just it. Right, totally preggers in the cart. Baby coming in the cart. We will get some children's books. Finger painting, Jimmy Sprocket. Because you all know that Chad being Dad Supremo will want to read to his little girl. So let's go ahead and read that one. Okay, speaking of Chad, 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 of course he is with his daughter. It is all about Gabrielle. Look, snuggle her, potty trainer. Oh my god, I might die of the cuteness. He's actually going to read to her. Oh no, he was going to read to her. You seen that, guys, didn't you? You did, you seen that. Read with Gabriella. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Do you know, I just love The Sims 3. I know I really, really, really like The Sims 4 and stuff, but see all these extra little things. I know you can read to your kids, but, but you know, I miss toddlers, guys, so much. And I seen someone done an April Fool's for toddlers, saying, I can't remember who it was, but saying that we were getting toddlers, and I actually got really excited until I realised it was an April Fool's and I could have smacked them. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Tell me that is not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your freaking existence. It's picture time. Picture time. No. Looks like we're in prison. Right, picture time. Oh my god. Cute. Right. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for that. So, um, yeah, we need to get her. She's probably not impressed that she's reading a pregnancy book. Right, what are you doing, Tramp? What are you doing? Your destruction is quite bad, so I need you to come and get your squeaky. Get your squeaky out for the girls. <laughs> get your squeaky out. Right, you can have a sausage. Come down and have a sausage because you did chew up the newspapers and I was not impressed. Come and do that. Where is our lovely little Belle? Belle is so cute. She's sleeping. She's sleep she got her eyes open when she's sleeping, she has. That's slightly creepy, Belle. Oh my god, she's rolling over. This episode is just full of cuteness. What I do want to do with Chad is for him to actually... It is Sunday, so I would quite like them to go out for the day. I kind of think Emma needs... Emma! Oh, she's spewing. That's fine. I kind of think she needs to stay home and do... Oh, look, she's got the proud parent thing. See, I think she's really conflicted because she doesn't like children, but she really, I think she loves Gabrielle. So she's kind of conflicted in her thoughts. She's like, I don't really like children, but I love her. <laughs> it's, it's about to be confusing. Yo, bagar. Right, that'll do. That's enough reading. He wants to snuggle her. Let's snuggle her. And what else do you want to do? Potty train her and teach her to walk. Let's snuggle. We will do a toss in the air. What does she actually need? She's actually really, really good for needs. So our needs aren't that bad. Hopefully this will get his social up as well. It does. Brilliant. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Right, let's see if we can take Gabriella to visit your brothers. Where do they stay again? Because I really do want him to build up his relationship with his brothers and I just feel as if he has a good relationship but he's not seen them since they get married. Okay, he's in. So let's go and visit him with Gabrielle. I just feel as if, you know, the wedding has happened so fast and maybe the brothers didn't, you know, approve of it. Oh, she's learning she's pregnant. And I feel as if the brothers didn't approve of the wedding because it was so whirlwind and they're kind of staying away. And I feel really bad for Chad because he clearly is a, you know, a family person. But what does she want? She wants to have a boy this time. Okay. So she's horrified at being pregnant, but she thinks if I'm going to be pregnant, can it be a boy? Can you read it, darling? I know that it's not ideal and you don't really like reading it but if you could that would be wonderful and I'll leave her doing that and hopefully she'll she'll do that while we are away I'll stick on 
stick on the two books. Right, so let's see where, let's see where the brother lives. Hopefully it should render pretty quick. Pretty quick. I did reset the town, so hopefully it won't take as long. <laughs> Although it does seem to be taking a while. Hopefully we don't get here and then he's not here. Because I kind of want to see, I know he lives in one of the high rises. Yes, he does. There he is. Is that him there? No, that's Emmanuel Champion. Emmanuel Champion. Welcome. You have access to my residence. Come on up. Okay, we will. We will. And we will take our little girl to meet our brother, her uncle, that she's not had a chance to meet yet. About blooming time. Okay, so where do they stay? So Wiley is here, and is this the other? And Isaac is also here, so that's good. Oh, look at this place. Wow, guys, talk about a pad and a half. Bachelor Pad Supremo. They are definitely doing well for themselves. See, their relationship is absolutely brilliant. So, can we... Plod is hard work. And... Can we... I would like to like do an introduce to daughter type thing, you know. I think that would be really nice. Express fondness. Can we do anything with her? No. Let's snuggle her a little bit. Right, so let's see this pad. This is really, really well decorated. This is nice. I like this. I like the kitchen. The Oh, they've even got a kid's bedroom. They've got a gym. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, Wiley? Okay, well, go put Gabriella down here then with Uncle Wiley. And see if um, Uncle Wiley <laughs> wants to play. <laughs> Go put put her down, put her down there, and see. Oh my God, she can join him! Holy mackerel! How cute is that? Oh, she can't get in, guys. She can't get in. Right, I think you're in the way, Daddy. Can you go here? Don't pick your nose in front of company, Gabrielle. Yeah, I don't think she can... Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us build on this lot. <laughs> I'm coming in here and I'm going to destroy part of their house just so I can see what I want to see. <laughs> They're going to be like, thanks, thanks, appreciated. Right, go and join. Join your uncle, because that would be cuteness personified. But you go, where, where, oh my god. Where's Isaac? Is he away now? Right, I th oh no, there he's there. Right, let's go and... Funny, telling him inside joke, friendly. Uh, pod hard work. Make silly face. What is Emma doing? She's using the bathroom. I will let her do that. Oh, look at this, guys. Is that not really cute? Oh, don't go. I just destroyed your house, Wiley. Don't go. <laughs> well, at least she's happy in her play, and at least they had a little bit. Oh, look, he's so glad to see him. That's quite cute. That is quite cute. Okay, Emma, if you're out of there, darling, I need you to keep reading that. I know that it's probably... Oh, she's reread that one, so what about... Okay. So... Let's head back to Emma. We'll not go home yet, but, you know, we'll do that. So they're having their conversation. Gossip. Ask to form a band. Well, I suppose they could form a band because he is pretty awesome at guitar. But who knows? Right, Lemma, let's see what she's doing. She is picking up her baby bell. What are you wearing, sweetheart? Hmm? What is that? Right, we need to get her some music. Because another fabulous trick is baby music or children's music. So let's go ahead and grab her a stereo system. We do have quite a bit of money still, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. That's probably gonna be in the way. 
I feel that that's going to be in the way. What about if we turned it like this way? Feel as if that's still going to be in the way. What about if we did? No, still in the way. Oh my god, Laura, position this right. What? <laughs> oh my god. Right, there we go. See, mm, right. Let's do move objects. So move objects on. Okay, that'll do. Right, can we move it? It's not centered though. There we go. That should be cool. That should work. Hopefully. Sorry if I just sniffed in your ear there. I bet that was just so sexy. Bet you just loved that. <laughs> right, um, turn on. Fa la 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 la. Can you imagine? And change to rap? No way. Change to kids. She's probably like, what are you doing? No, you're not going to go and chase him, honey. No. I need you to come in here to the television and turn it on. And then I need you to watch TV. Okay, where are you going? You need to pee, so I need you to go outside and do it. So can you pee here? And you kind of need to pee, uh, our sweetness. So you go and use your awesome litter tray that I wish that Sam and Indy could have. I do. Change to kid zone. <laughs> Poor Emma. I feel so bad for her. Like, doesn't like children made to watch kids' TV, made to read books about kids. Right, why don't you bring our little girly home? Yes, bring her home. It is late. Well, it's not actually late, it's six o'clock. But at least we got to see our uncle, which is good. She got to play with her uncle for a little bit which is really nice. And hopefully, you know, meeting, oh, look at that. How good would it be for your cat to do that? And then it just, you know, zooms away. But yeah, it would be absolutely amazing if you could actually have that in real life. But yeah, so hopefully now that he knows that they've got the baby and things like that, he won't feel as, as bad, I guess, of the wedding or not bad, but not as disapproving of the fact that they're together because I mean Chad and Emma are clearly are clearly meant to be together why don't we goof around with our pet how is their relationship it's actually not too bad for a cat and a dog it is not too bad so why don't you goof around a little bit I take it you're bringing our angel oh my god he didn't bring her home what you'll need to bring her home he's just left her at her uncle's Maybe he hasn't. Maybe he is going to bring her home, hopefully. Hopefully. Emma's just eating the mac and cheese. She actually wants to teach Gabriella. Do you want to call a babysitter to take her home? Yes. I don't know why you can't take her home, but never mind. So, although Gabriella hates... Oh, and someone did say to me, change her trait from dislikes children. And you didn't have your Google comments... Um, enabled so I couldn't actually reply to you directly but part of it is actually part of the challenge is for her not to like children that's part of the, the whole point of the challenge so yeah okay call repair technician in fact no I think that Chad could repair that I have every faith in his ability now, if you hear a motorbike in the background, then I do apologise. I do apologise. My brother has a motorbike and we live um, next door to my parents. And uh, sadly, he's got this motorbike that is as loud as anything. And he, he thinks it's awesome. And it is awesome that he's got it. And I'm pleased that he's got a motorbike, even though I'm terrified every time he goes out in it. But that's by the by. But he just came home and it was super duper loud and I'm really sorry if you heard it. If not, I'm probably making a big deal over nothing. So we're going to get Chad to potty train Gabriella. He did it earlier on and I was sleeping and I actually could have strangled him. I could have literally strangled him. <laughs> I could have quite easily um, strangled him. I'm going to get her to come down here and dance to the kids' music. I'll make sure it still is kids. It is. Just dance, gonna be okay. 
da 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 just dance. <laughs> Thing is, she's probably dancing to like some crazy kids tune, like, I don't know. What is a kids tune nowadays? I don't even know what the kids TV programs is. In my day, it was um, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning. <laughs> I don't know why you guys put up with me. I really don't. Okay, so potty train. We haven't really done much with her skills. Like, she's a bit unskilled. So let's just potty train her, like, forever. Until she learns her potty training abilities. Are you chewing on that ball? You are chewing on that ball. And wait, what are you doing, sweetheart? Belle, our beautiful Belle. When she's older, she'll be able to play with these things on the wall, but I think she's just too small just now. Yeah. She's too small, sadly. It'd be quite good if the dog could dance with her. That would be fun. That would be good if he could, like, just go up and do a dance. Do a little dance, make a little love. That would be fun. Okay, how is your bar? How is your bar? Is it nearly there? I can't see. It's like tempting me like, haha, I might be ready or I might be not be ready. Potty trainer again. He's like that potty trainer. I'm going to piss myself. <laughs> potty train her. I think I need some potty time. So it's going to be interesting. Tomorrow Chad goes back to work, I believe. Yes, he does. So it's going to be Emma and Gabriella all alone in the house so as far as like training them to do anything I'm pretty sure that Emma's going to use the walker and things like that I do think that she loves him loves her I do definitely think that but I do also think that um, she's conflicted so he's going to go and get himself washed up like I say, it is his first day at work. His charisma and things like that we have worked on it. So he does have enough charisma for his career and his mood and whatever. Level 2 already, the ballot counter. So hopefully he'll be able to maybe get a promotion. That would be fun. Okay, go and use it all in one, my darling. So we're going to get them ready for bed. And why do you come and eat the leftover mac and cheese? The mac and cheese seems to be lasting forever. Oh, she loves the dollhouse. Look, how cute is that? That is cute. So what we'll probably do is, once Emma is out the shower, we will get her to feed on the floor. Feed on the floor. She's been sick. She's like, it's disgusting. Okay, so Gabrielle... <laughs> Gabriella's favourite music is rap music. Frogs frogs legs for food and pink. Okay, and she is a star sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, he's gonna to go to sleep until fully rested. Are you gonna feed her? <laughs> She's just like, go away, go away. Yeah, because that's a safe place to have your food. At the top of the stairs. This freaks me out. They should have a baby gate or something like Where are you? What are you doing, Emma? She's going to come all the way down here and she's going to go, I dare not, weeby. Bet you. Bet you. Come on. What are you doing? She's not going to do it now. She's like, oh, this motherhood. What the hell? Look at her face. It's like, what the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> I know that you're tired, but you need to feed her. Right, come on, Gabrielle. Come on, darling. Come in here. Go here. Go here. And get your mother, your mamere, to come and feed you. Feed it. No, don't change your outfit. Feed her on the floor. And you can feed her on the floor up here, so don't be giving me any of your beeswax. Thank you. Thank you, Emma, my darling. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do. Right, why don't you go and brush your teeth while she is eating her bottle and then we'll be able to get her to sleep. So, um, yeah, baby number two, three and possibly 
four, <laughs> hopefully not four guys, because this house ain't big enough, um, is there. We haven't stolen anything tonight, which is a shame, but she is doing quite, oh, it's that time again, guys, it is the duck of doom, it is the duck of doom. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I'm so excited, I am only hours away hours away from getting my hands on get to work and I cannot wait. I'm away to make my thumbnail now for my Let's Play and uh, yeah. Leave me a comment below to let me know if you have the game, if you plan on getting the expansion and if you have it, what's your thoughts? And I love you all very, very much guys. See you later. Bye.